Hey, what's up? This is me, Warren, here again with another video. So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about what to do if you just so happen to bump into your ex in public, you know, just by accident, run into that person. What should you do and how to carry yourself and how to react? So, with that being said, I'm going to jump into these strategies that I have planned out what you can do and how to carry yourself and you know how to handle the situation. So you and your ex, you know what I'm saying, y'all might recently broke up or y'all might broke up over time. It might, you know, it probably been a minute or you might be in the no contact phrase, you know what I'm saying, you might be doing the no contact rule at that point in time. What you want to do, if you bump into your ex, what you want to do is be cool, calm, and collective. I know I can say this, but in reality, your heart going to be beating fast. You probably get the jitters or you might get scared or, you know, you know, get nervous. So what you need to do is calm down. Relax. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to act a fool. You know what I'm saying? It might be, it's tough. It's very tough. You're going to calm down. You're going to be relaxed, cool, calm, and collected. Cool as a cucumber. So you're going to put a smile on your face. Force it. Think about something that makes you happy. And you know what I'm saying? This is, you know, it's good to see you. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, with you, you the happiest person in the world. You smiling. You full of energy and light. You glowing. And you know, you just the happiest bubbly person you can possibly be. But in reality, you might be hurting when you go behind closed doors. You might still be crying and all that stuff. You must put on your pork your poker face and play this role. So your ex and might you know they get the the thought that well this person is not really suffering without me. This person really didn't need me in their life. And they're going to make them come back into your life if you want them back in your life. That's up to you. But if you don't want them to see that you are suffering, you know, without them. You know what I'm saying? You don't want them, you don't want to give them that notion that since they're, since they out of your life that you're not doing good. You know what I'm saying? You want them to think that since they kick you out of their life that you're doing better and you having a you know, you're having fun, you're going, carrying on with your life, you're moving on with your life. So, in another nutshell, what you want to do is you don't want to sit there and ponder on y'all relationship and y'all breakup, you know what I'm saying? You want to try to pick yourself up and try to join some activities and, you know, try to better yourself and work on yourself. The more you work on yourself, the better you'll feel. Get out there and interact with people. Interact with people. If you don't, you, you're an anti-social person, Join a gym, work on yourself and read some books, you know what I'm saying? I just recently um, bought another book. Hold on. This book right here, you know, um, five steps to um, personal personal um, production. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but this book right here, I, 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 I read, well, I just bought it, I ain't read it yet, but, so, um, you want to read books, you want to better yourself and stuff like that. And um, another question is, like, what if you see your your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever with the other person and you just happen to bump into them? How should I act then? Should I fight the other person or stuff like that? No, you don't want to fight the other person. You don't want to confront the other person. You don't want to act mean towards her. I know this is the complete opposite of what normal people normally do. But this is what you want to do. You want to be cool, calm, and collective. Cool, I mean, just cool. And he was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy you move on. Really, you're not happy. I'm not happy. I'm happy that, you know, you're seeing you doing well and stuff like that. Cut the conversation short. Keep it moving. Go on about your business. I guarantee you, in a few days, in a few days, that person will reach back out to you and stuff like that want to know what you're doing but in front of them the more of this video in front of them when you bump into your ex you put a happy face on 
Think of positive, happy thoughts. You always want to show your ex that you're doing good and you're doing better and you're happy and always have a positive front about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put on a poker face. You're happy. you blessed to see another day. You know what I'm saying? If they see you sad, crying, on a fight, and all that stuff like that, you making them feel like, I'm glad I broke up with this person. I'm so happy I got that out of my life. But if you happy, fake it till you make it. If you seem like you happy, you seem like you got it together, you seem like you keep it moving since you know that person left out your life, they gonna make your ex gravitate towards you. You, you develop, and develop a mindset to pull them towards you, pull them back into your life. Now, once that happens, you know, the ball is in your court. If you want them back in your life, you know what I'm saying? That's a question. You know, another video, why you want them back in your life, you know what I'm saying? If they, you know, have a pattern of doing things, you know, you might want to evaluate why you want that your ex back in your life. Do you love them? Do you like, do they make you happy? What it is about them that you want them back in your life. Now, with that being said, if you have a topic that you want me to talk about in my videos, if you have issues going on in your relationship and you need emergency help and you need my help right away, please go to my email and book a um, coaching session with me and I um, get to you, you know, as soon as possible. Just, you know, believe what your situation was going on and um, go through the steps, the process steps, and we can continue from there. With that being said, take it one day at a time. Peace. <laughs>